Hi guys, welcome to Websense Pro. Welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, we'll walk you through how you can add breadcrumbs using Rank Man in your Elementor website. So if you want to learn how to add breadcrumbs and make your blog posts, make your pages more SEO friendly using Rank Man for your Elementor website, this tutorial is for you. Make sure to watch the video complete so you can learn tips and tricks about styling the breadcrumbs as well. So without further ado, let's get into the screen. Hi guys, welcome back to Websense Pro. I'm your co-host Nadashik with another tutorial on Elementor. Today in this tutorial, I'll share with you guys how you can enable breadcrumbs using Rank Math. Breadcrumbs makes it easy for visitors to navigate your website. So first of all, I'll share with you guys how you can enable the breadcrumbs and then how you can use it. Okay guys, so this is my dashboard. What I'll do is I'll go to plugins here. Here you can see add new plugin. Search for rank math. And here you can activate it. I've already activated it. So it's here in my dashboard. Okay. Once it's updated, what you need to do is you need to go to general settings here. Okay, so after going to general settings here from the left side, you can see an option given breadcrumbs. Okay, this is what you get. If you enable your breadcrumbs function, this appear. Okay, so you can choose any separator you want. Right now we are choosing this separator, this one. Okay, so if you want any other separator, you can choose it. Okay, so this is the setting of your homepage. What I can do is I can open the dashboard again. Okay. And here, let's choose a post from the left side. Okay, guys, so this is the dummy post which I have added here. Here, I'll be adding my breadcrumbs. So, let's see how we can add the breadcrumbs. Okay, so here is the plus sign. I'll add a structure here. This is my structure. What normally people do is add this HTML code here, drag it and place the code which is given here. This one rang math breadcrumbs. Copy and paste the code here and this is how it looks home action heart of stone but we'll not do that what i'll do is i'll add text editor here in this container okay so let's scroll down and instead of this lorem is from, I'll be adding this code here. Why I did this because I have options to bold, italic or colored or choose the font size, the font color, anything I want with the help of this adding the text editor. But in adding the HTML code, we don't have this option. Let's update it and see how it looks now. Okay, so this is how it looks. If I want my it my text to be okay, what I can see is I can change the text color. Okay, let's see if it works and update it. Okay guys, now let me show you guys, if I want my, uh, the breadcrumbs to be in bold, what I need to do is update it and let's see if it's bold now. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So it's bold now. If I want some gap, I can add this, update it and let's see if it's working. 
oh yeah it's working so for me text editor adding is better than adding this html code okay coming towards the setting part here you can see show home page link you can use this option to configure where the home page link will take your visitors to what i can do is i'll switch it on i'll get two other options one is home page label and the other is home page link what if i want movies instead of home and click save changes and let's see what changes it will make here okay let's see now instead of home we'll get movies option so this is how you can do the settings okay the home page link uh, looks good breadcrumb prefix which you can add here is let's add a prefix to show what changes it will make okay so what if i want to add you are here and see what changes it will make let's click save changes here okay so this is where i was working let's get it loaded again and see okay cool so here the prefix appear this is how you can do the settings of your breadcrumbs the way you want okay so if you have an archive page a list of posts then you can use this archive format here right now we just have one post so no need to use this okay the other thing is search result format okay uh, this option let you set a breadcrumbs format for the search result pages okay so if you want a format for this a label for this you can add the label you want or zero if a page is not founded this error will be given if you want any other thing you can type here and this will automatically appear if the page will not be found okay if you want to hide the post title you can enable this option if you do not want the current post title to be included in the breadcrumbs okay so right now just leave it because we just have one post here show category for example uh, you have different categories here you can enable this option here so if you still want to add a category which will make your breadcrumbs look too long so if you want to add a category you can use this option here okay so the next one is okay so this taxonomy name works with the archive pages only so we don't have one so we'll just leave it to disable we'll click the save changes here and this is how the post look if you want to add here with multiple posts you can do that it's quite easy okay so this is how you can use rank math seo breadcrumbs here with the help of rank math seo i hope you like my tutorial if you want more such videos please don't forget to subscribe my channel hit the like button and comment below